So the first thing we will learn is um, what are coordinates and what what can you do with it. So the first thing you should uh, remember is that th this tile here in the left top corner is always the point where it uh, the x coordinate, which is displayed in red here, is zero, and the y coordinate, which is displayed in blue, is uh, also zero. So, if you know this from school, you probably know this graph. So, if you let's say you walk to the right, you walk one tile to the right you're now at 1 on the x axis. If you walk to the left you should be at minus 1. Um, and that always adds up. So if you walk 1 to the right you are on 1 on the x axis. If you walk another, another step to the right you are on 2 on the x axis and so on. It goes on 3. 3, 4, 5, 6. The weird thing uh, is that normally the y-axis, if you go down on the y-axis, you go into like, if this is 0, this is, should be minus 1, this should be minus 2, this should be minus 3. But in RPG Maker, you start at 0, 0, and as um, if you go on the y-axis, if you go down, it actually adds up one. So n normally it should be what, like zero minus one minus two minus three, but in RPG Maker it is like zero one two three four. So it's just that you know where or how to use the x and y axis. So you can see you're here at zero zero as as I mentioned. So if you go one to uh, to the right, you see the the first number is the x axis and the second number is the y axis. So if I move one to the right, I'm here now, and you see the x axis is one to the right and zero down. So if I go on another one you see it changes up to two. If I go from zero 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 on the x and the y one down you see there is zero steps to the right as you can see I I did no uh, step to the right and one step down so the y axis changes to one. So on this position, this position, the coordinates are zero one. If I move down this way, oh, that's not cool. So if you move down and to the right, where where the player stands, you see he's at the position two four. So two to the x, one two and 4 to the y. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is his current position, displayed as coordinates. So what we can do with it is we can at first check or set set the coordinates so that the RPG Maker always um, always reload or I don't want to say reload if it's if it's refreshing the values so you need to check in every step where the player is at at the moment so we can simply say so the trigger is a parallel process and so that the event that you can walk on but um, he's doing something in the background so you don't need a walking animation on this um, and now you simply choose a variable 
you can call it hero x and you do another one for hero y so with these both things with these variables you can take game data and store it into the hero x variable so all it does is if you you choose the character the player and map x so you see this variable will always set to the x position of a player so if a player moves one to the right this little piece of code this variable will realize it and will set the hero x coordinate to the x position of a hero so if a hero moves one to the right this should be one if he moves two to the right it, it should be two and so on so this is the first coordinate you can simply copy it and paste it and edit it so you here we, we do the same for the y coordinate so we choose hero y and the player map y so the position on the map on the y x so okay and now we have these two coordinates which get always refreshed and you will always see within with the help of these coordinates you can always look where your player stands at the moment and this is pretty important later to check if if a bullet hits the hero or if some attack hits the hero or if you reach a certain area you can always check where the player exactly is after that you can easily do a conditional branch and check if or maybe don't maybe we just show a text where so we know oh I don't know oh I messed this up so sure we do a conditional branch to check if um, if a button is pressed so if OK is pressed this is space key or the return key uh, if it's pressed we show a text which shows us where what uh, on which position we are standing right now so we can type in something like x co coordinate is now you can get a variable so it was this I guess um, zero, 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 0001 here you put in the number of a variable you used it doesn't matter you could use it's just a fresh project for me so I just use the first one for the x coordinate of the hero and the second one uh, for the y coordinate of the hero so remember that this if you want to display a variable this should be a backslash not normal slash um, and here you can type in 0, 0, 0, 002 because the second variable I used was the y coordinate so we save this and now we try to run it and let's see if it works so annoying music will start soon oh maybe not so we can now run up and hit enter and you will see the coordinate x coordinate is zero uh, uh, is seven and the y coordinate is three so you go w so it, you can check it up it's without the 
in tile set indicator it's a bit weird but we can do it like that so one two three four five six and seven so do something like one two three four five six seven yeah it should be well we can test it out so we should run seven steps to the left and three to the top to get back to our zero zero point so let's try this out oh no we made a mistake so one two three four five six seven to the left one two three to the top and our coordinates are zero zero if we hit enter you can see so now you you already know you can always check now where your player is standing now he's on seven eight so seven to the right from the zero point seven to the right eight to the bottom and you know his position So this is the first basic step to to make even events interact with each other so you can like make two events run against each other and get or if one event is on on the other event you can start something. So this is pretty cool and yeah, that's it for for it now.